What's up guys, Graham here. If you left a comment in the comment section below my last weekend video, then you are entered into the giveaway of a Rex. And the winner of that giveaway is... Bam! Right there. Congratulations, we'll be sending your Rex to you just shortly. We had several donations this week that triggers several giveaways, so let's go ahead and get into those. We have a $20 donation from Troy and it says... Keep up the great videos. I really enjoy watching and learning. Thank you very much. I will be adding your character to my friends list and we can go PvP in any time you like. We also had a $20 donation from Manuel and it says, I'm grateful for all the advice for PvP. I may not be the highest DPS nor more killing blows, but your warrior spec and advice helped me to be a better warrior reaver. I'm really glad that build helped you out and I hope you're owning it up in the war fronts and like I said before I will be adding you to my friends list and we can go PvP in any time you like. And we got another $10 donation from JP. He has been on a recurring donation every month and it's really awesome that you're supporting the channel like you are. Please send me your character name whenever you get the chance that way I can add you to my friends list and we can play together some. So that makes three different donations that we had that were $10 or more. And that, of course, triggers a Rex giveaway for with each one of them. So that will be three Rex we're going to be giving away this week. If you'd like to be entered into this giveaway, then all you have to do is leave your character name and server in the comment section below this video. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit that like button. And we will be announcing the winner in the next upcoming weekend video. Now, as usual, if you're one of the people that have used my referral link in the description below my videos then you will win 10 times that amount of Rex if you're one of the winners. For those that are wondering how close we are to the $250 goal we are currently at the $65 mark and once we hit the $250 mark we will be doing a video where I am completely dressed in full drag as a dress, makeup, hair done, everything. We're going to be going all out for it. And I hope you guys will look forward to that. Me making a complete fool of myself. Good luck everybody on the Rex giveaway. What's up guys? Today we're going to go over a Reaver Warrior PvE build that is the top parsing damage spec that Warriors have right now. And if there's anything else that's putting out more damage than this, then I have not seen it. In all the dungeons, world bosses, and raids that I've been in, all I have seen is Reavers topping the meters whenever it came to Warrior damage. So I'm going to show you the top spec right now and exactly how to play it. Alright, let's go into the Soul Tree. And if you would like to see this on a web page instead of having to pause the video or squint at your screen, please refer down to the description below this video. I will have a link to a web page where you can see it there. All right, as you see, we went 61 points into Reaver, 8 points into Tempest, which 5 points goes into Amped, and 3 points into Enhanced Power. And then 7 points into Paragon, which we went 5 points into Teaching of the Five Rings, and 2 points into Weapon Familiarity. All right, and then the masteries we went into was the level 61. We went resonating strikes, level 62, soul regeneration, level 63, gladiator combat training, level 64, precision strikes, and level 65, power manipulation. All right, let's check out the macros here. And mind you, the macros are set up in a certain way to always keep up Fester. And Fester is very important for these PvE builds because it adds to your damage. It's an overall damage increase. So the more times that you can keep it up, the better. And it is triggered by explosive infestation as well as the regular infestation ability. So you want to use those at different times to keep Fester up at all times. All right, so the first macro here is the one with explosive infestation in it. And then the second macro here is basically the same thing, but with regular infestation in it. All right, then we have a dot macro here. And then we have our AOE macro. All right, and like I said, all the macros will be in the description below this video, so feel free to refer down there so you can copy and paste them. The buffs that you'll want are Binding of Affliction, Pestilence, Empower, Enhanced Conductivity, Way of the River, 
And of course you want Plague Bringer brought up for those fights that go into AOE situations. All right, on our bar down here, we have the explosive infestation macro. We have the regular infestation macro. We have our finisher, which is Dire Blow, and that's our single target finisher. And then we have Viral Stream. We have Shadow of Dread on a separate button, just in case we need to dot up a particular area of uh, mobs, but we don't want to actually go into our macros and use those abilities. We have a uh, Rancid Cleave macro, which is our AoE macro. And then we have Desecrating Blow, which is our AoE finisher. We have our Dot macro. And we have Cloak of Death, just in case you draw aggro or something and need to slip away for the moment. We have Break Free on a separate button. And then we also have a Interrupt here, which is Spazzle. And then we also have Shadow Warp, which will remove all crowd control effects and teleport you 15 meters forward. All right, let's go into how to play this build now. Our primary focus is going to be keeping Fester up, and that's going to be our damage increase. And you'll see it pop up to the left of my character, and I have K-Alert showing it as a countdown timer, so I know when to hit the other macro to reset that timer. All right, so let's go into our rotation here. We're going to hit our first macro until we get three combo points and then hit our finisher. All right, as soon as we do that, we'll go into Viral Stream. And hit our finisher. All right, now we can hit our other macro to reset the fester timer, as you see. And we can go ahead and keep hitting whichever button, you know, because you're going to go through another rotation of finisher. And then you can hit your first macro again. It'll reset that fester timer like it shows. All right, so Viral Stream is back up. Let's go ahead and hit that. And Finisher. And we start it all over again with the other builder. All right, so you basically just want to go back and forth between the Explosive Infestation Macro and the regular Infestation Macro and throw in your single target Finisher at all times, as well as using Viral Stream as soon as you hit your Finisher and ready to go into building up another three combo points. So it's very simple, the rotation, and you'll be topping DPS, trust me. All right, let's go into our AOE rotation now. Basically, we're just going to be hitting our builder and then finisher, our AOE macro and then the AOE finisher. And the big difference between this and the single target is that we want to have Plague Bringer on. And that's a toggled buff that's going to allow it to whenever we hit a mob with our dots, it's going to spread to all the surrounding mobs as well. So you normally don't want that on if you're doing single target damage because it'll pull the surrounding mobs and usually you don't want that to happen. But in an AOE situation, you definitely want it on, so make sure that you have it toggled on. Now a big part of this is keeping our fester up. And we have explosive infestation in our AOE macro, but it's going to make fester fall down eventually if we never cast infestation by itself. So whenever Fester is about to drop off, we want to go ahead and hit our uh, Infestation macro once, and that'll allow it to refresh all of our Fester, and then we can go right back into our normal rotation. All right, here we go. We're going to hit our Builder, and it's going to cast our Shadow of Dread, and as you can see to the left of my character, it has Fester up. And we're just basically going to do the Builder, Builder, Finisher until, you know, once we have three combo points, we'll do our Finisher. Fester is about to go down, so we went ahead and hit our infestation macro, and then we're going right back into our normal rotation here, which is going to refresh our Fester with explosive infestation by itself. As you can see, and we're like right at the 200,000 DPS mark right now, and that's pretty good considering the gear that I have. Now, as usual, whenever you're doing these PVE specs, you want to make sure that you have all of your gear ruined out, uh, you'll have the raid buffs that you normally get in the big raid situation. So your DPS will jump up drastically with those things. I know with me just doing the DPS like I was on the dummy, it's usually about 55,000 DPS that I'm doing. But whenever I get the raid buffs and stuff like that, I usually go 65 to 70,000 DPS. So if you have even better gear than I do, then naturally it'll go even higher. Now, the, you can just imagine what the AoE is like with all the raid buffs. I hope you guys don't mind how sloppy the video is compared to how it normally is. Right now, I've currently got the flu, and I'm pretty under the weather. There was a lot of times during this recording that my voice would give out, and I, 
it's it's been pretty rough but i wanted to make sure i got a weekend video out for you guys and this is the spec that i've been using in pve and it's really done a good job for me if you enjoyed this video make sure you hit that like button and for those of you that have been donating i cannot thank you enough you've been really helping to support the channel and with as many donations as we got this week i've made sure that i put out two big videos this week rather than just one and uh we did the how to gear up a fresh level 65 for pvp and also this video so if you guys continue to support it that way i'm going to put forth a lot of effort to make sure that we're producing content that you guys want now remember if you're new to rift make sure you use my referral code in the description below the video it gives you a lot of extra stuff for your new account as usual guys my name is grim and i'll see you next time